what do you know about large language models this was a very generic question asked to one of the person i am mentoring in a recent interview after the interview person came to me and asked aman the question was so generic in nature i did not know what to talk do you think the person is not knowing the definition of llm do you think the person is not knowing what llms are doing do you think the person is not knowing the challenges with llms the person knows all these things the only problem is quickly structuring your thought and delivering it that is the need of the hour guys in this video i am going to talk little bit on this how do you structure your thought and deliver it so that you stay ahead in the competition believe me not many people can do it and hence this topic is very important suppose i tell you talk about llm in 30 seconds you have to just think four five key points about llm and start talking on it okay and the flow of it should be like a story let me try how i will go about it you can even pause this video and think how you will go about it and then you can replay and see how i am going about it okay so i'll start like this llms are type of ai which can process and generate human language it is doing wonders in the world of ai the reason for that is it can understand the context and semantic of human language in a much better way than any other version of machine learning or ai before that is basically the introduction part now comes what all people are using llm for there are various applications of llm in different platforms different forms wherever we need a human conversation kind of stuff there we can use llm to give some examples it can be a chatbot it can be a q and a system it can be a self help portal it can be a feedback form it can be a any kind of customer satisfaction survey all these places we can use llm to replace human intervention okay very simple we have spoken about the introduction and we have spoken about the application now let's talk about little technical how do you evaluate the accuracy of llm or how do you know that your model is doing good or not doing good okay so we will go like traditionally evaluating a supervised machine learning use cases have been easy because we know what to measure we know against what to measure in the world of llm there is a new challenge because this is a world of generation of text or generation of language right more, more part of it is generative ai so there are new concepts in the world of ai to evaluate a llm model some of these are perplex perplexity which is if it's lower your llm model is good blue score if it is higher your llm model is good and in some cases llm models are even compared with human generated text or human generated content so on one hand you have machine generated output on other hand you have human generated output you compare both and see how good your model is doing this is about the performance part evaluation part next comes what are the challenges associated with llms we can simply start talking about basic challenges for example training llm is quite expensive in terms of resources resource intensive uh, more data is needed more variety of data is needed this is about training part then llms traditionally show some kind of bias based on the data you give it we can talk a little bit about a bias llms also we have to see the ethical part of llm whatever content we are generating if it is you know ethically right that part we can talk about 30 seconds and then we can talk about little bit about how do you ensure that uh, in in llm we are talking about difficulties of building the model right so how do you ensure that whatever data you are feeding to the machine and whatever output you are generating for the consumption to the end user right how do you ensure that this entire flow this entire flow is properly regulated regulatory part i am talking about here okay so these are certain challenges around llms now last but not the least we can just talk about the future of llms some of the new advancements in the llms and how the interaction between human and machine is going to be get smoother and smoother going forward with the help of large language models okay 
believe me guys i have just spent 2 3 minutes before this video to structure this okay and then i am able to tell you five points in a story wise flow maybe in 30 seconds to 1 minute you can also structure three four thoughts and you can put it in a flow okay start with the introduction anytime this situation come right start with the introduction talk about application talk about little technical stuff around that because we are in a interview setup talk about challenges talk about how the future is looking like for this particular area okay so this is one of the must to have skill guys how to structure your thought and talk around something don't be like that guy who was who knew things but he could not structure it in less time and talk about it okay i hope you got the message from the video guys see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care